the um, Sparrowhawk youngster in the distance there. It's um, three Sparrowhawks fledged here this year. Um, that's clearly one of the young still hanging around, pestering the parents for food, I would imagine. But such an ideal place, so quiet. So I'm currently out this morning, really early. Um, this is a predominantly coniferous forest um, with a scattering of um, deciduous trees and mighty beech in here. Um, so I'm just having a little stop, a bit of a coffee break before I plod on. Done a bit of a recce around the forest um, and there's a lot of coal tits, a lot of gold crest. Um, no deer as yet, um, but I'm hoping to move on down towards the river and then across into a, the deciduous part of the forest where there's um, generally um, a couple roe deer hanging around there so I'm hoping to, to set up, get my ghillie suit on, get set up and, um, and sit quiet and hope for the best really. Um, so hopefully I'll uh, report back later with some news um, for now, just sit and enjoy my coffee and I'll catch up with you later. I'm now making my way down towards the river um, into a deciduous part of the forest. Um, it's a great little area there. More bird species really prefer the old deciduous forest than they do the coniferous ones. Um, I say not all species, but most of. Um, in this particular 30 acre stretch, there's a lovely uh, roe deer and youngster, and uh, quite a lot of sparrowhawk, this tawny owl, buzzard. Uh, there's a fox that comes through. It's a very quiet place, so lots of wood pigeons um, flitting overhead in these trees. Um, it's a beautiful, quiet place here. Um, it's just got a little bit chill in the air now, coming into autumn. Um, things are starting to move, species starting to come in, species starting to leave, so uh, you never know what's about. So I'm uh, just heading down a steep slope at the moment and uh, across to the river. Catch you later. Well, I'm currently set up for um, kingfisher. I was just sitting down having some lunch near the stream and two kingfishers zipped past right over the top of my uh, camera bag. So uh, <coughs> I've now left the, uh, left the forest, come down by the river. I'm gonna give uh, the kingfisher a, a go. I've just put a new branch just across the river there in a prime position, hoping the kingfisher will land on it, um, giving me plenty of space the focus point on the top of the uh, frame allowing for plenty of drop if in case it dives in the water and uh, gives it a bit of room um, and rapidly fire off some frames so it's hoping though but uh, there's probably very little chance it's going to come in and land but um, can but try and it's lovely down here by the river uh, so peaceful apart from an aircraft going overhead um, but yeah Fingers crossed, we shall have some luck. I saw one headed back down the stream, um, or the, the back end of one, it may have been the two. It could have been two juveniles just tearing around. I don't know, so we shall see. There's a nice bit of deep water there, so give it another half hour and see what happens. second one gone down that I saw earlier. Um, let's hope they double back and uh, come on my perch hopefully. God the heart was something then. I heard it coming from quite a way up the river. Um, what a shame it didn't stop. Never mind. I 
Tim Fisher again, calling up river this time. Good thing about Kingfisher, they generally announce themselves as they're flying down through the stream river estuary. You kind of get a bit of a warning call before they arrive. Kind of get yourself ready. Um, but you've got to be pretty still as soon as they get nearby. You can hear a grey wagtail um, both in front and behind me at the minute. Um, be nice to see one of those. We get Dipper here too. Um, kept the odd mallard going through. The water level is quite low at the minute so it's not creating any ideal deep pools for the kingfisher but where I've positioned that uh, stick it's quite um, it's quite a depth there. I'm tempted now to stay a little bit longer I think. Uh, I've got my day off today so I can stay until at least five o'clock so I've got at least another three and a half, four hours. Um, leaves are all starting to fall and dropping into the stream. Um, signs of autumn. Beautiful time of the year. Turn up there as well. Heart's thumping. Come on, Kingfisher. saying kingfishers usually announce themselves. I just uh, missed one. Um, it landed on the further perch. Um, it came so quick round the corner. I thought for a minute it was a robin. Um, but it was a kingfisher that looked like it had just been in the water. So it was soaking wet. Um, I put my head down slowly to get down behind the viewfinder and uh, time I trained the lens just around a little uh, it had gone um, whether that was me moving my head or it just flew off I don't know um, it landed on the perch with the shallow water so maybe that was it I don't know but it had gone I didn't even know which direction it went in so uh, yeah learning tip for me today they don't always announce themselves um, but thankfully most of the time they do Thank <laughs> you. 